What? Well, what is going on everybody and welcome back to TRF. Today's episode is going to be another exciting episode fishing at a gorgeous private lake. I'm excited to catch a ton of fish for you guys and we're most likely going to do again another one of those fishing for two to three hours straight with almost no edits or cuts to show you guys what goes on in my mind and of course what comes out of my mouth in the few hours of fishing. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, hit that subscribe button. Now as you guys know, my goal on this channel is to help you guys become better bass anglers, but my goal is also also to do it in an entertaining way and sometimes I get the opportunities to come out to places like this that have tons and tons of bass and catch a lot of them on camera for you guys. And in today's video y'all we are at an incredible lake that is part of the private water fishing organization. Now for those of you guys who do not know what private water fishing is they are a private organization here in Texas and Oklahoma and hopefully expanding across the country soon and what they do is they partner with landowners like whoever owns this land right here giant piece of land. They partner with them to allow us to fish on their private bodies of water. You have the whole day all to yourself on a private body of water. Nobody else to take your spots, nobody else to catch your fish. It is just you, your buddy, in the lake. And today we're at a brand new lake here with PWF called Lost Creek Ranch in Cold Spring, Texas, and it is fishing incredible. I've literally taken one cast from the bank before we started filming and I caught a two and a half pounder. Guys have been coming out here and catching upwards of 100 to 200 fish days. So I'm excited for you guys to see us catch tons of fish. I'm probably gonna film multiple videos today, but if you guys wanna check out private water fishing, again, incredible opportunity for those of you guys who just wanna go out there and have fun catching fish in Texas and Oklahoma, uh, you can use code TRF uh, to take $50 off your initiation fee. And of course, I'll leave all that information, as always, with everything else, the tackle, the clothes I'm wearing, all that stuff in the video description below. But I say we get this bona fide kayak in the water and we start catching the fish we'll see you guys out there well boys and girls we are out here on the water now I did attempt to film two different challenge videos in the first two hours we've spent out here oh, what the heck stop it I'm just gonna film the rest of the day for you guys for this one video and it's really just gonna be like I mentioned a completely or partially unedited video I'm just gonna go through with you guys what's going on in my mind, why I'm fishing certain lures in certain places, and hopefully show you guys a ton of fish catches. I feel like we're gonna catch, I don't know, upwards of 40, 50 fish in this video. So, so again, if you guys are not subscribed, you're missing out. But uh, the conditions that we're faced with today, we've got, I don't know, 70 degrees outside, maybe 68. Uh, probably mostly post spawn fish. I assumed with the full moon we have tomorrow and it being late March, the fish would still be spawning. I'm seeing tons of beds. I'm just not seeing any big ones. We're still gonna do plenty of bed fishing today. Uh, I'm gonna use a lot of the tactics that I've been talking to you guys in my recent videos when it comes to throwing at white spots, when it comes to fishing just good looking areas and dragging around. Gonna be doing that and of course, and we're also gonna cover some water with a thunder cricket most of the day. So like I said, mostly unedited from here on out. Got myself a little wacky rig hook, gonna cast around a wacky rig ocho. And I'm seeing tons of brim, that's why I'm threading this baby on. Tons of bluegill. And I've already caught, like I said, a few bass on the challenge lures that I was trying and it just, it just wasn't working out. So we we're gonna go fishing and take you guys along for the journey with us. I'm in my kayak today and so as a, as a bass boat angler, I love standing up. So you're probably gonna see me stand up quite a bit in this video. So I apologize if I go out of the frame. But right now, I'm just casting with a wacky rig to the edge of a grass line up here. And I guess the first thing that I do when I get to a pond and a kayak, same thing goes with a, with a, with a bass boater from the bank. A lot of the tips that I give can apply, almost all of them can apply to every style of bass fishing, whether you're on a, a boat or on the bank. Um, and I'm going to basically go straight to the bank, especially if the water's clear, to see if I can see any anything that'll give me a hint as to what these fish are doing. And so I, I went straight to the bank. I saw that it's relatively shallow, so fishing right up next to the bank is not necessarily gonna be the best thing for today. But I do see some white spots here and there, which are cleared away areas, the bass are on beds. And so I'm gonna be basically pitching to every white spot that I, that I can see with my polarized sunglasses. Um, and if you missed the video on that, I'll leave it linked in the description because I'm going to be doing a lot of that today. But if I don't see a white spot, I'm going to be reeling in 
my wacky rig and casting out the Thunder Cricket because in my experience, if the conditions are like this, you know, not super windy, a little bit of chop as you're gonna see as we round this corner here, but a little bit of wind, overcast conditions, a little bit of grass, I, I don't think you can beat a chatterbait for these conditions. And I also see a white spot right here, a little bit deeper, like five feet of water. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be casting, like I've noticed, you know, the, the bank starts to slope off after 15 or so feet off the off the shore. So we're gonna be working that 15 to 30 feet off the shore range, which is in about five to seven feet of water. So that's my plan for now. Y'all are gonna see me, me be a goofball. And then of course, there's gonna be a few cuts because like right now, I just put out my Paul Macbeth video, which is the best disc golfer in the world. I got to hang out with him, collaborate with him and take him fishing. And then he took me on the disc golf course and showed me a thing or two. So, so that video just dropped and I've got to do some, uh, some promo for it right now. So we're gonna turn the cameras off, do some promo and you'll see us here in a second, catching our first bass. There's one. Got him on the chatterbait. Hello, buddy. You gonna come play? You gonna come play? Hey, you gonna come play? Bring it in here. Let's go. Got my phone all wet. How nice. He did not have it by much, but look at how chunky he is. That's a chunky old fish. I'm gonna do it all click right there. And I got my phone soaking wet from that fish. How nice. All right, we're good. We good. And I put my phone in my pocket. Is that smart? Probably not. All right, so now we got one on the chatterbait. Let's keep throwing it a little bit. That one was that one was pretty shallow work. Ah, had another bite. Okay, fish are gonna want this today, I think. I'm probably gonna not put this thing down until I uh, see a bed. It's either this or a swim bait. And it's, it's, it's possible they chomp a swim bait today too, but I haven't thrown a chatter bait in a while. So if these bass are dumb and aggressive, I might as well throw something fun. That's a bigger one. I don't know if it's a bed there or not. That's a bed. We're drifting over something right now that looks looks kind of betty. So I ain't talking betty white. I'm gonna back away here. Drift over this thing and come back to it. Because I saw a, a more decent size. Oh, there's a decent fish. Holy cow. That's like a four pounder. That's like a four pounder. That's like a four pounder. Oh, oh, I had a bluegill. Gosh dang it. That's why the fish wasn't coming for because I had a bluegill. Where'd he go? Where'd Big Bertha go? I'm literally just gonna let my Senko sit right here. See if Big Bertha comes and eats it. She was interested and I, <laughs> Bluegill took it. I didn't even notice. There's a bass. This was, no, he was small. He was not Big Bertha, that's for sure. Let's see. This cloud cover definitely does not make bed fishing easy. I talked about in my video about a month ago, the best day of the year to bass fish. And this is close to it. We got a full moon coming in a day or two. We got really warm night last night, which means that the fish are uh, are not going to move off their beds if they were on them overnight. So we got prime conditions besides the wind and the clouds, which is not necessarily ideal. Let's see. I'm out here with my buddy from college, Jonathan. And he's fishing a Senko. He caught his PB today. 2.3 pounds. I'm talking to the camera about you. Oh. I told him you caught your PB. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm saying this kid's absolute 
ding dong crash. No, I said you caught your PB today. Uh huh. Dude, these bluegill are following me around like crazy. Like, brother, I ain't got nothing for you. Oh, J Mart's got one over there. All right, folks, I'm gonna stand up for a second to see where this bed was. All right, it was somewhere over there. Gonna give him a little, a little flip over there. Again, I really wish I could just stand up more. I may end up just angling the camera up so I can stand up more because it's gonna be hard. But I do wanna get a good thumbnail. And the best thumbnails are from this angle. Oh, got a bite. Probably a bluegill. That's my guess. Ah, where's this bed? It's just too deep to see it. I used to have a power pole micro anchor on here, but I put it on my other kayak, and then I lost my other kayak on the highway. So, power pole is no more. All right, well, Big Bertha is not on this bed. I don't know what she was doing. I think she was just cruising for a bruising. See. Pick back up the chat and bait. Give it all chunk. Lots of bluegill. They must think I'm gonna feed them. There's a bass. Not a giant, but it's one on the chatterbait. Yee! Scoot! Up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it in. Bring it in. Hey yo. All right, I feel like we're gonna catch quite a few fish today. And I hope this video shows you guys what you can expect from some private water fishing lakes because this really cool club to be a part of, I would highly recommend it. Boom, we're gonna click. I'm not even honestly gonna look at the clicker because we're just trying to add numbers to our, uh, our total yearly catch. Again, we're trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year, which is totally possible as long as I have some crazy good days on bodies of water like this. Oh my goodness. Hey, that is not a bass. That was a bluegill and that does not count. That don't count. Ugh. This wind is definitely not the most helpful especially in a kayak. I'm not a big, I'm not a big wind guy. I want to fish where it's calm. Unless I'm like offshore, then I don't mind wind. I don't think it's a coincidence though that as soon as we started seeing more bluegill, we started seeing more bass because we went all the way back in a pocket way up there, expecting the fish to be sliding up there to spawn, but they were not in there. There was no forage, there was not many bass. Usually the fish will always, even if they're spawning, they'll always be around the hill. Is that a fish? Oh, no way. That's a fish. Oh, gosh. I've been yanking on him the whole time thinking he was grass. But it was not. It's a fish. It's a fish on the chatterbait. Okay, I gotta learn how to land a fish better in a kayak. There we go. There we go. Not a giant, but a good one. A good one on the chatterbait. Again, this is the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Click. This is fun. I like. Yes, I like. Ugh. Now the color on the Thunder Cricket today that I'm going with is green pumpkin. And as always in the spring, I'm dipping all of my natural colored soft plastics in methylate to orange dip. This is JJ's Magic. If you ever watched Fluke Master, you're probably familiar with JJ's Magic. It's just a, a, a dip dye for your soft plastics, and it's, in my opinion, the best one out there. I've used, I've used a few brands. This one, Spike It, some other small no-name no -name or brands. JJ's Magic, I'm not even sponsored to say that. JJ's Magic is the juice. 
the juice. I need to make sure I'm filming. Am I filming? I was. I was filming. I'm hoping this video can kind of fit in like the the relaxing demographic where people just set this thing up and cook dinner or kind of listen to it like a podcast. That's my plan with these long form videos. To entertain you guys, but also just to give you some some relaxation. Maybe you're taking a shower and you just want to hear somebody catch fish as you're washing down your body. I don't I don't know. Whatever you're feeling. Put this on on a car trip, long road trip. Hear your boy TRF catch some bass. There's one. There's one. Came up and nabbed it. Whoa. Dang it. See, in a bass boat, I wouldn't have lost that fish. It stinks. It's just in a stinking kayak, you have a bad angle on all this stuff. All right. That fish came as I like really slowed down the chatterbait. I had not slow rolled it that slow until just then. Zinger. I'm wearing my Blue Storm life jacket today as I should every single time that I kayak, but sometimes I like wearing a chest mount camera, which does not make it easy to wear a chest mount and a, li a life jacket. So I'm just, just running one camera today, the one you guys are watching, and we are mic'd up. So hopefully the on-body mic works. If it doesn't, we're gonna use the shotgun back there. I just, I wanted to wear my life jacket today since I'm fishing on a new body of water. I don't know how deep it is. I just wanna be safe. I would rather not die, because I like living. Ugh. And if I do die, I want my family to have my body. Let's see. Yeah, y'all are gonna hear all sorts of things I say today. Talking about death. It gets depressing around here. I'm just kidding. We're gonna keep it happy. Keep it happy, keep it light. Keep it light like whipped cream. Is that a bed? Kind of looks like a bed. Well, oh, it, it was. It was a bed, so we're going to put the wacky Cinco down there. The fish followed it out for a second. Come on. Come on, you jellyfish. Where'd you go? The fish followed my chatterbait out and then wasn't there. Let's go ahead and spin around. Do, do, do. This is a tactic that I use a ton when I'm just fishing in general is I'll get a bite on a reaction bait and then I'll have a slow non-reaction bait ready to, uh, ready, like literally at the tip of my rod, ready to pitch back in there because oftentimes the fish will not hit the reaction one again, but if you know where it is, because you got the bite, um, you can catch them on something different. But yeah, this fish does not want to eat. Fish is chilling here, but... I'm gonna back away. There's no way this fish doesn't eat. You got stuck? Uh-oh. Shoot! Where's this fish? Where is this fish? 
I gotta watch out when I stand up, I don't scratch my balls too much. Uh, let's see. There's a fish. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looked at it and ran away, so. Almost hooking him on the, on the, uh, I guess not almost hooking him. Letting him know that I was here with the cheddar bait. It made him very spooky. Spooky scary. Spooky scary Harry Carey. There's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't even know why I picked up the wacky rig. That's my first cast back with the chatterbait. That's the best one of the day so far. Bring yourself in here, buddy. I think you I think you put your paddle forward. No, well, no, you're gonna scrape my line against the paddle. Ha ha ha. Beauty. Beauty on the chatterbait. That's all they want, man. That's all the stinking want. Green pumpkin. Paddle wagon. Lamborghini paddle wagon. I think J Mart's stuck over there. Have you tried uh, taking your line, making it tight, and plucking it? More like pop, pop. I'm gonna come help you. I'd rather you not lose your chatterbait. I'm gonna come help J Mark fix his lure. And I'll be able to show you guys a little bit about how to get a lure unstuck and hopefully have some success doing that. I'm coming, big boy. And y'all are probably gonna make fun of my kayak form. I got a camera sitting here, so I can't do a full can't do a full paddle. Gotta do kind of a wussy paddle. He caught a stick with his chatterbait, did he? Is that what you've done? Oh, I see it. Dude, can you, can you reel down to it? Oh, give me, give me your rod. I'm the rod father. All right. Oi. Oi. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, I know. I caught the rod on the stick. Uh oh. I'm just spinning the kayak now softly with the rod down there. All right, so you want to get on top of it and just kind of like, yeah, I mean, you're, you're more than stuck. You're stuck and wrapped. Yeah. Which is not ideal. Yeah, you can see it there. Shoot. Now, now your rod is stuck. There we go. Okay. Got him. Yeah. I got more where that came from, but you hate losing lures, you know? That's what I mean by snap. You gotta give it some gusto. Oh, what? Uh-huh. Dang. That right there All is. Right. Now check your line to make sure it's not frayed. Frayed and afraid, because it might be. That right there, folks, is how it's done. That's how it's made. It's how legends are born. And how legends die. All right, let's get back to our bank over here. I gotta stop losing these fish. I can't count these towards my clicker. Towards my clicky clicker. I can't. I want to, but I can't. Gosh dang it. Alright. Hope the lighting is still good. I have not checked my camera in a while. Probably is. If you guys are curious how I'm fishing this chatterbait, I made a whole video on that, so I, I would prefer if y'all would go watch that. Oh, hello. That was dumb. <laughs> this dude didn't even fight. 
I don't even know if I had them the whole time or what the deal was. But uh, as you can see, there's plenty of fish in here. And people are like, oh, if you're catching fish that are easy to catch, it's not fun anymore. Baloney. I'm, I'm having a blast. I love catching easy to catch fish. And so any, any tips that I give in this video in terms of like lure retrieval to like get the fish to bite, not really gonna be very applicable because this is, you know, the most, the most stocked a pond can be. But I did make a chatterbait video on how to work the chatterbait, what it is. Oh yeah, there's one. Nicer fish, I think, maybe not. Probably just fighting hard. Oh, I forgot to click the last fish. Got it. I probably could have clicked it after I landed this one, but that's okay. Bring it in here, bring it in here. Bring it, oh, got him. Had to grab him funny. I'm, I'm trying to get through a sentence here. I, I made a chatterbait video, link is in the description. <laughs> we're gonna stop the camera here for the sake of file size. Oh, nope. Oh yeah, yeah we're good. All right. And we back, and we back, and we back. I think a lot of these fish have already spawned. A few of them are spawning right now, but in terms of catching fish, it's probably gonna be smartest if we just cover water off the bank. Two, two, okay, so that's about four feet deep there. Using the countdown method. There's one. That one feels, oh, this is big. Bigger, for sure. I love the lure countdown to the bottom. It was reeling it slowly and this guy came, or girl probably, came and nabbed it. Come on, come on. Oh, biggest one of the day, not a giant, but it's big. Big for this lake, I think. Ah -ha -ha. Beautiful, three plus pounder on the chatter wagon. Chatter monkey, the chatter hoochie, everything. Thank you, buddy. We're playing. Y'all, we're gonna catch a lot of fish today. So if you just wanna see someone catch fish, you've come to the right place. You've come to the right place. I will have a number on the, on the title probably of this video on how many fish I caught because I'm not gonna keep track mentally. I'm just gonna look at the clicker at the end of the day. And whatever it says is what I did. Sometimes I'll reel really fast like this to get the kayak to kind of re-stabilize itself because the wind will push you in weird directions. So if I know the cast is done, instead of picking up my paddle, I will just reel really fast and hard. And as you can see, it spun the kayak and now I'm in better position to make the next cast. Just a little little something I learned in my many years of bassin. Oh, that was a, that was a fish. And yeah, you know, in most circumstances I would pick up the wacky rig to cast back there where I missed that fish. But now that I know how many fish are in here, <laughs> I can just afford time-wise to keep the chatterbait in my hand and just make another cast. Hoping for the same fish or a different fish. Could I catch more fish today? Maybe, by, by doing the switch around. And I might. If I see a really shallow area that I missed one, I'll, I'll definitely cast the wacky rig. But when it's deep and you got your bite, that fish could be somewhere totally different by that point. Yeehaw. Slow roll. Slow rolling on the river of love. Just noticed that my buddy Jonathan does a one-handed cast. I wonder if that's a thing when you first, he's, he's just learning how to, really learning how to bass fish. I wonder if that's a thing that newbies do as they cast with one hand, I'm not sure. I don't cast with one hand. I'm not near as accurate.
All right, we have ourselves a bad trailer here. This is all sort of beat up, so we're gonna make a few casts at this. We got a we got a what? Is that like venomous? Yeah. Hey, we also got a bald eagle. <laughs> My buddy Jonathan just told me we have a coral snake in the water, which is venomous, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna make a cast out here. This pond has some aerators that are like little little bubblers that keep the water keep the water clean and add oxygen to it. I think. I think that's what they do. And so I'm gonna make a few casts of that thing. Although I just took my trailer off and it's not not work it's not vibrating or feel doesn't feel the same as with the trailer. I gotta put the trailer back on. Is that a coral? Got one. Got one. Got one. Bring it in. Hello buddy. That that's a fat one. Holy smokes. Y'all look at his belly. Look at what he's been eating. He's been chomping. He's been feeding up. And he bit right next to the uh, the aerator. Any sort of like different structure in a lake. Well, like if you're fishing an area that's all grass and you got like one little line of stumps or like you're fishing docks and all of a sudden you have a tiny area of lily pads, oftentimes fish will stack up in uh, the, the different areas. I don't know why. I can't necessarily explain why fish love different, but they do. Okay, there's uh, oodles of fish in there. I'm putting the, I'm putting the wacky rig in there. Chatterbait's not getting them. But you can't tell me the wacky rig's not gonna do, do the job. It's probably deep here, probably like 10 feet. So, gonna let it sink. A good eight seconds or so. And lift up. Really keeping contact with my line. Not contact, but being aware of what, what my line's doing on the way down. I didn't get a bite so far? Oh, I, okay, there we go. Oh, I was probably getting bluegill bites. That's probably what I was getting. I'm a Dumbo. because that bite was very light. So yeah, most likely a bluegill. Let me put my chatterbait back through there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Gotta be at the bottom. All right. The fountain fish didn't want to play. So we're gonna take my chatterbait. We're gonna get ourselves a new trailer. My favorite trailer for the chatterbait is the, uh, uh, what you call it? Structure bug. A rage bug? No. I forgot what they're calling it now. I'll find out in a second though. Rage bug. I think it used to be the rage structure bug. Now it's just the rage bug. Got our shelter rage bug. Gonna get the JJ's magic. Yeehaw. Okay. And I also have a video that I released, I don't know, a year or two ago on trailers for your jigs and chatterbaits and such. And I talked about the chatterbait trailer in that video. So if you missed it, um, I'll try to remember to leave all these links in the description, but I might not remember. So just search. If you ever have a question about a certain fishing topic, I've probably made a video on it. And so just search Tyler's Real Fishing and then that topic name, and you'll usually find what you're looking for. So just thread it on the trailer. Now I'm going to open up JJ's Magic brand new bottle. So this stuff should be uh, pungent. That's the right word. I think it is. All right. Bing, bang, boom. There's trash. And then, 
Oh, is there a top to it? No, there's not. Oh, that's scary. We are gonna dip the tails in this stuff. Over the water, though, so we don't spill it. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, that's, that's pungent right there. That is juice nasty. Close the top, nice and good. We're gonna put it back in the box. I don't want this thing to spill. These things have a habit of spilling. Going back in the box. And just like that, we are back in action. Ready to slay the bass. Is that a fish right there? Oh yeah. There's like, there's like five bass right here. I'm gonna catch one on a wacky rig. Watch this. Watch this, folks. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I'm about to catch one on a wacky rig. Oh, where'd he go? There was like five. There he is. There he is. Oh. I just broke off again. What's going on? I broke off like twice today on a wacky rig. And I really think it's something to do with like the kayak. I'm like, I'm grinding the line against something. And I, I don't quite know what it is. So we're just gonna go, I mean, I, I went straight braid earlier and I broke off on straight braid, but we're gonna go straight braid again. I don't know what the heck's going on. Yeah, my line feels frayed. Dang it. Kayak fishing, man, that's how it goes. You're always gonna have snags and your line scraping against stuff. All right, time to grab another wacky hook. There's one right there. That was loud. You know, in kayak fishing, you want to be as loud as physically possible. That's what I've always learned. You want to just make the most noise. I'm joking. I am totally joking. You don't want to do that. But here I am, doing it anyways. <laughs> when you're tying a little wacky rig hook like this, you've got to feed it through one way and then feed it back through the other for the Palomar. You can't hardly ever pinch pinch the line and stuff both ends through all right let's 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 stop breaking off on your hook sets Tyler I don't know what's going on there like that last one broke on the leader which means that I had some fray somewhere in it okay got some line Oh, there's a fish right there on a the bed. I'm about to catch his butt. Okay. On the wacky rig, I'm almost always throwing the five inch Ocho. And honestly, baby bass, a way better color for this time of year. I think I'm out of baby bass or I left them all at home. Something happened, but I'm out of baby bass where I'm currently at. So we're just throwing some kind of some kind of watermelon thing. Oh, I got both packs out now. Dang it. Didn't mean to get both packs out. But I do mean to catch this fish. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. Hop it once. Hop it twice. And I had him. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Let's go. That fish jumped like two feet out of the water. Wow. That fish was a stinking jumper. And that's the best one of, that's the best one of the day. That's the best one of the day. Come on, buddy. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hey, hey, come on. Oh, come on, man. Anyways. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm dragging my, oh yeah, I'm dragging my line against the uh, side of the kayak. I'm letting it happen, and uh, it's definitely fraying the line. Ugh. Here we go. Look at that chunker of a fish. I keep getting water on my lens, so I apologize, folks, if it's getting blurry. 
That guy ate the Ocho down his mouth. And that fish was on a bed right there, and I saw him. I pitched back to where he was on that bed after I drifted away and caught him without actually looking at him. Beautiful. We're gonna do another click on my fish counter. We're already up to 120 fish for the year. Pretty dang fun. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. Oh, Jamar's got one over there. Look at him go. It's fun to be fishing with people that, you know, haven't been fishing a whole lot, be able to teach them stuff and watch them succeed. All right. We're gonna go to this fountain. Not fountain. This other aerator out here in the middle. Throw the chatterbait around it. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Check the light. Yeah, it's getting bright outside. Let me check my camera real quick, folks. All right. We are doing fine. Lighting looks good. I don't like this wind, though. I think the other arm of the lake might be a little bit less windy. We'll see. Maybe the fish are not around this little aerators. It's possible. Yeah, they're not around that. Thought they would be. One fish was. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And if y'all see any uh, any habits of mine kayak-wise that are not good, anything I could do differently to be a better kayak angler, feel free to comment those down below. Because I don't kayak fish all that often. Oh, oh gosh, there was one. There was one. One right there. You know what? I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the casting back in there method. Had the wacky Cinco ready to go. I got the bite right there. Gonna work it real slow. There he is. Oh gosh, dang it, my drag's loose. Oh, I just I just loosened even more, didn't I? Stay on there, buddy. Oh, he's not even a bass, is he? He's not even a bass. He's a stinking bluegill. There we go. Does this count? Does this count as a fish that I can keep? Probably not. Probably not. Boo. How do they do this? They go. They're always getting this this uh trailer the trailer, the uh, the weed guard all messed up. Bluegills. Bluegills do it all the time. When I catch a bluegill on my wacky rig, it always messes up my weed guard. Alright. We are back to the chatter wagon. Low and slow and steady wins the race. The chatter bait bite kind of feels like a a thump, but also like a, it's like a soft thump. Occasionally your line will just go slack, which means they've eaten it and they're coming at you. Uh, and then sometimes it'll just be, it's chattering, it's chattering, not chattering. <laughs> which means something's got it and the blade is no longer turning. That's what that usually means. And it's just a simple little sweep hook set. You don't need to jam on them. You don't need to give them the full business. You just need to you just need to give them a little bit of business. All right, there we go. Tell you what though, I'm already looking forward to being back in my boat. Already looking forward to that. Oh gee, I'm getting bit, but it's it's gotta be bluegill. The bass don't miss this thing, not usually. At least not the bass in here today haven't. What? 
Ah. There's one. There's a bass. Oh, is it bitter? Oh yeah, it's a little better. About the same size as I think the the one two fish ago. Come on, buddy. Come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. I feel like I forgot to ding one of these fish on my clicker. Oops. Oh yeah, nice pretty fish. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful bass. Thank you, friend. I'm noticing a lot of these fish have coal tag holes in their mouth. If you can see that. I don't know why. Like, who's putting coal tags in these fish? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, genetically they grow with holes there? I don't know. Maybe these bass are weird. That's usually a hole from a coal tag. You know, I think there's so many fish in that pocket. I'm gonna throw the wacky rig. Check my drag this time, we're good. <laughs> I gotta forget to tighten the drag after I just loosened it for a fish. There you go. Your back. Blue gear bite. Little bitty, little bitty boy. Little bitty blue gear boy. Alright, well, I tried. Thought there'd be fish back there. the hokey pokey and we'll spin our boat around that's what it's all about oh come on come on wind why you be doing this why you be pushing me around like you bullying me Well, that was for sure a bed. That was a thousand percent a bed. I just don't see a fish on it. I don't know, but I'm going fast. Trailer's caught on the hook. Not that it would really matter today, but it's the principle that matters. I'd still like a chatterbait that functions properly.
I'll never understand why a bluegill wants to eat my chatterbait. Like, it's the same size as you, homie. What are you doing? You can't eat that. It won't fit in your mouth. Okay. Sorry folks, had to check my phone. Released that new video today and so I was just seeing how it's going. And people are liking it. People are having a good time. I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? I hope so. Subscribe. We're reaching 200,000 subscribers. I mean, we got like five 5,000 more to go, but still, that's pretty close. Never thought that I'd reach 200,000. Pretty cool. And I really think that we are just scratching the surface on what the content on this channel can be, man. I really think we're gonna make some cool stuff. And I really think I'm gonna catch a bass here. Catch it, eat it, eat it, no. I also really think it's windy here. I don't like it much. Doop -a -doop 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 That's a fish. No, I had to catch up with him. There we go, yes. Oh, that was scary. Not a bad one. Get around my wacky Cinco, please. Oh, well, not a good one either. Got him. Thank you, friend. It seems like the big ones, or besides the biggest one I caught, are kind of skinny. And the small ones, are fat, and that's a that's a good genetics fish right there. That thing's gonna be a future Texas 10 pounder. That's for sure. Okay, okay. We're doing work. Oh, I gotta click that one. I guarantee you, I'm gonna forget to click fish today. I should probably just go ahead and give myself three more clicks for the fish that I'm gonna forget today. I'm gonna try not to forget those, but. We'll see. I'm sure y'all are gonna comment below. I forgot one. There's one. That's a better one. Mm, there we go. Bring him in here. Bring him in here. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha This is fun. Yeah, if you guys just want to come out to these kind of lakes, get your girlfriend, get your get your kids on some fish. I mean, yeah, it comes at a price, but it's uh, it's I think a price worthy of, of paying. Oh gosh, dang it. I gotta stop letting my line scrape up against my paddle. That's totally gonna fray my line. Beautiful fish. Man, and they're not, they're not like hooked great. They're not. They're just barely hooked. This is like bass fishing ASMR, man. You guys are just watching me smoke some fish. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I hope so. And I did click that fish in case you were wondering. I just clicked it off camera. There's a fish feeder behind me, but I'm, I'm not finding any correlation between the fish location and the fish finder. I mean, in the, in the fish feeder. These fish are just kind of spread around. You'd think they'd all be congregating near the feeder, but they're not. I'm just looking for beds as I, as I drift. Getting a higher vantage point definitely helps you see beds better. That's 100% fact. So if you're having trouble finding beds and you're in a kayak or even a bass boat, literally stand on something taller. I see guys standing on their engines. I see guys bringing like a step stool to stand on. Ooh, oh, sorry, excuse, excuse me, I burped. Um, it can definitely help to stand on something higher because you think about it, you're trying to eliminate the glare from your view. So if you're looking like this at the water, you're not gonna, even with polarized sunglasses, you can't see squat. You have to get on top of that glare 
So it's totally cut out and you can see them, them fish. You can see through the water. It's really hard to sight fish when you are parallel with the water, if not impossible. No, oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. Let's see if they want to eat it again. Now, I think you know, the, the question, let me get my mic better so I can talk to you guys. The question could be posed, you know, what's better to fish in this situation where the fish are really biting a reaction bait or a slower bait like a Senko or something? And I really think a reaction bait, it just, it, it's my style of fishing. I like going faster. Could I catch more? Maybe every cast with the Senko if I made a long cast? Maybe, it's possible. Get in here, yes. But uh, I just like throwing reaction baits. I have more fun with them. I like cranking and reeling and more, setting the hook a little little bit harder than a spinning rod. That's a chunky two-pounder. Click. 124 fish. And especially with the clouds and the wind, it's really hard for me to put this down. What happened? Uh-oh. A lot of your bites are bluegill. Especially on the wacky worm. I love sitting on the edge of my seat, both, both physically and metaphorically. But yeah, on the kayak, I love sitting here on the edge. I think it gives me a better hook set location instead of back here. I feel like I'm kind of like constricted. I can't turn my body because I don't. I don't just turn my. Or, you know, bring my rod tip up. I'm turning like my shoulders too when I set the hook. So kayak is really constricting for me. But I know it's fun and I want to keep doing more of it. I'd love to get in some small kayak tournaments because the entry fees are, you know, not as much as a bass boat tournament. It doesn't cost near as much to, to drive a kayak around as it does a bass boat. And a kayak takes no gas. So I'd love to do that. It'd be fun. I just want to get my kayak set up better. Got to get a native again. I like bona fides, but I'm just I'm a fan of the pedal drive, not not the paddle. Restart this clip. There's one. Oh, nice one. He's trying to take me in the stuff. Zing! That guy's jumping. He's a jumper. A jumpy, dumpy boy. Bring it in here. Bring it in. Gosh, he's getting the hook in the bottom of his lip. That's very dangerous for me to try to lip this fish. So I'm just gonna grab him like that, MLF style. Get the hook out. Thank you, friend. Ah, there was a bed right there. That's probably what he was on. And he kind of messed up my trailer a little bit, so I'm going to try to re-rig it the other way. I can reuse this, keep reusing this thing. Easy. Easy money. Let's go. I got to check my lighting real quick. I'm going to keep the camera recording as I check my lighting. I don't have my camera that has a flip screen, so I have to check the lighting myself. 
There we go. Adjusted it down one step. Perfect. All right. Adjust my pants because I'm getting a wedgie. I'm sitting in this dang yak. And we're coming up to the the dam section of the lake here. And I just, I don't think for this time of the year, there's gonna be that many fish on the dam. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish it real fast. Now, inevitably there's gonna be a few because this lake has so many fish in it. There's always gonna be some on this area, but it is springtime. The fish should be, you know, close to the bank, making their beds, swimming around, eating, eating bluegill, not out here in deep water. So. Yeah, it's not even a bass, I got stuck. Is that a bass? No, I got stuck. Yeah, stuck on some gunk. Yucky yuck. Blech. Well, I just realized I got a comment. I have to comment on uh, Paul's video so people see my comment. Now, we, I do have a fish feeder up here that looks like it's in deeper water, so I'm actually gonna cast the wacky rig right up against it as the first cast in this area. See if I can pull a, a big one out. Test my drag. <laughs> now, that, was, that felt like a fish, but it also could have been grass. The same time, I'm not sure. Either that, or the fish didn't have it by very much. It's possible too. I hate spinning rod hook sets without standing up. I'm just no good at them. I'm no good at them. There he is. There he is. Yeah, that's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. Gosh, dang it. Ah, oh, man. Like I said, I just I can't set the hook on a spinning rod when I'm sitting down. It's not good at it. That was the biggest fish of the day. Damn. Let's see if he's got a buddy in there. That was probably the same fish that I missed the cast before. Oh. Oh, gosh! I missed another one! Ah! Oh, what is wrong with me? Y'all are seeing the struggle bus today. My, my hook is plenty sharp, so I don't know what's going on. But all I know is I stink. I stink major doo-doo. My drag is tight and everything. Come on. I don't know if that was the same fish or not. There might have been multiple fish by this feeder here. Try it again. One more time. I need to be the one that takes you home. That's what I'm singing to these fish. One more time. Just give me one more. These fish seem pretty dumb, so. We'll see. All right, that's a no. There's more slime on this side of the lake, which is weird. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. If I could just fish clean, man, I'd have 10 more fish to add to my clicker. But no, I'm fishing dirty. Losing fish I should not be losing. Should not be losing these fish. Sorry folks, I had to see where this grass line went before I made a cast. <laughs> In a bed. It's gotta be. 
I just don't see a fish on it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure this, this angle is probably just great for you guys. I apologize. I don't really have a choice though, I gotta see these fish. There's 100% beds in this area. It's gotta be. Just honestly not seeing much. Not seeing much I like. We got a deeper, this is a much deeper grass area than the whole lake has been so far. This is like honestly an extension of the dam at this point. My buddy over there is on the shallow side. I'm on the deep side. So. I'm gonna slow roll the chatterbait. Real slow. Giving it a jerk every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, I'm not even feeling this. I'm not feeling this. I'm feeling like finding shallower water. That's the, that's the thing I wanna teach you guys is that if you, if you have like a pattern going, and like I know that the fish are on the shallower, not stringy, grassy stuff, they're on like the actual, like, I don't know exactly know what type of grass it is, but it's not, it's not hydrilla and milfoil, something else. They're on like the actual hard grass, not the dead stuff. You don't want to waste your time fishing around stuff that's not productive. So, I'm just gonna paddle and look for beds as I paddle. Takes you home. Da 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 da. How many cares you end up in my arms? One last time. Is my mic on? Haven't checked in hours. Check, check, check. It is. And the reason why it's important is because one, my my chest mic might not be that good. And two, even if it is good, I gotta link the audios. So I need, I need both audios going. All right, now we're back to the better looking stuff. Better look at beds too, that was definitely a bed. Three, four, five. Six feet right there. I'm gonna reel it back in. Thank you, wind, for changing my direction. Mm. You lost one. <laughs> I'm losing fish too. Oh, jeez. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a stinking big one. I got the, I got the male. I got the male on the bed. It's a big male. Holy cow! Gosh dang it! Why am I losing these stinking fish? There's like a six pound female with that nail. And now I'm all kind of tangled. Dang it. Oh. Man, there's a big female. Big old female bass. Again, just a horrible hook set. I got a really, I mean like, I asked you guys to comment 
Teach me, teach me stuff to learn. I got a lot to learn about setting the hook and playing a fish in a kayak. I'm, I'm learning it's way different than I think it is. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to reel all of my baits up to the tip or just put them away. And I'm gonna put my kayak up in the slop and wait for this fish to come back. Cause that was like a five, six pounder. Like very thick, healthy fish. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down first. That was like a three and a half pound male. It's crazy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna keep going down. I see another white area. And on the way back, I will stop at that bed or stop way before it. See if that big female comes back. Cause I think, I think she was with that male. I just couldn't tell. Keep looking for fish. Actually, I don't even know why I put down my chatter paint. I can at least keep throwing it as I, as I work. Da 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 Anything down here, so we're gonna making our way back there. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces dead with the homebound. Run around the block with a Glock. You, you are feeling to get shot. That's the silencer. Boom, 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 boom. That's a grenade launcher. Folks, I'm going to tilt the camera up so I can stand. Oh. I see the female. I mean, I see the male. I don't see the female. But we're gonna get out my, uh, my bed fishing rig here. A little white. A white baby. We're gonna wait. Cause that was a big female. Surprised she wasn't sticking around after I caught the male. I'm not even seeing the male anymore. He said, peace. He said, I'm out of here. Leave my, leave my bait in there. Clean off the lens. There we go. I did, I did have this fish hooked and almost landed him, so. He ain't gonna bite. He ain't gonna bite. Hmm. What I am gonna do though is get the wacky rig and I'm going to, uh, Cast the wacky rig out in the middle 
where that fish off that grass line where that big fish could be. So I could totally see her chilling out here, waiting to come back in. So we'll see if that's a good hypothesis. So that fish, of course, was on the bed. I scared her off. She's she's off doing something somewhere. Yeah, that was a fish, a bluegill. And uh, yeah, she's off she's off hanging off the bed somewhere. So you can catch bed fish like this off the bed. You just have to not be looking at them. And they have to not know you're there, which is why I'm throwing the wacky rig. There's a fish. No, nope, small one. Not a big one. Got me confused there. I thought I had her. It's just a little squirt. But hey, it is a bass that I can add to my collection. All right. I'm gonna click him. I should be having a lot more clicks by now. Both on YouTube and on uh, my clicker. <laughs> now, where did that big one go? That's my question. I'm gonna make another cast. I'm not convinced they, that she hasn't left. Or no, I'm not convinced that she has left. Yeah. No moss. No moss, pescados there. Let's go ahead and tilt the camera back. Back to you guys and to me. All right. Get back to fishing. I really hope y'all are learning something, because I feel like I'm kind of just teaching as I go. I don't really have a plan. Big old white spot here. I see a fish feeder right here. And the last fish feeder that I casted to, from afar, I lost a big one. So let's try it again. Also a nice weird little concrete slab here. What the heck is this? Huh. Funky. Skip it. Horrible skip. Oh my gosh. You doof. Uh, well, I guess I'll overhand cast. More accurate. 
accurate. There you go. Oh, perfect. Popped it off the uh, dock back in the water. Come on. Where's the tick? Where's the tick? No tick? All right. Yeah, bluegill. No fish, no tick. There's one. All the chatterbait running at me fast. There we go. Gosh, dang it, man. Is my chatterbait hook not not sharp? No, it's sharp. These fish are just really being weird. These fish are really good at getting off today. That fish was also running at me faster than my 7 5 to 1 reel could pick up. one little guy gotta keep the pressure up or else they're gonna jump off it seems <laughs> bring it in here bring it in let's go let's go little squirt again though so fat i think i think i heard these fish are camelot bell genetics camelot bell fish are a very famous strain of fish here in texas and they're they're big and thick so that wouldn't surprise me if that's if that's the truth from the rumor I hear. Got him. There we go. Bro, you know what? I'm about to just like switch chatterbaits. Like this no, this hook is plenty sharp. It's not the hook. It's my stinking hook set. I just can't I'm having a bad day. I really want to stand up so bad. I hate sitting down. And you don't even need a strong hook set for a chatterbait, so I don't know what's going on. The fish are probably just slapping at it. Like most of the fish that I've caught, they're, uh, the lure's been like, you know, right on the outside of their, right on the inside of their lip. It's not been down their gullet, so. It's okay. I'm doing a fine job, I'm just, these fish are not eating it great. That'll be a fish, 100%. Let me get a better angle at the retrieve. And that will be a fish, I'm calling it. Lean back and get comfortable for this fight that's about to ensue. No? Wow. Okay. Thought I could call my shot there. Guess not. Did I click that last fish? I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add at least one click at the end of the day. Cause I don't remember if I did. I did not. I for sure did not. Is that about 120? Yeah. 127. That's right. Now we're back to even. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Uh oh, it's getting bright out here. Okay.
Whew. I'm starting to get kind of hot out here. The sun is poking out. And it's time for some chips. Hmm. Shark time. See any beds? I apologize for y'all probably gonna hear me chewing <laughs> the next few minutes. But I want a snack. I'm hungry. Oh gosh, holy cow. Yeah, these fish are eating it really weird. Like this fish that I just caught right now, or I'm catching, he doesn't really have it deep in his mouth. Get in here, yes. Yeah, it's in the tongue. It's really hard to consistently get fish in the boat when they're eating it weird. Yeah, he ate it in the tongue. The bottom of the mouth. Thank you, buddy. Sploosh. Fish literally came off of like a, a stick floating in the middle of the lake. That was funky. Yeah, it's way deeper here than that fish was sitting. That fish must have been suspended. Oh no. Caught the stick. <laughs> nice, okay. Oh, well, might get a new chatterbait anyways. Might be getting a new chatterbait anyways. All right, yep, we're breaking this guy off. Oh, come on. I hate not being able to break off because in a kayak, you try to pull your line and break off and you pull the kayak with you. Oh, I'm pulling up the stick with me. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's a full-size stump right there, boys and girls. All right. Got the chatter right back. Got to watch out, though, in case the hook's bent out. It's not. Hook looks fine. All right. We good. Oops. Yeah, that stick. If I had live scope my kayak, sheesh. I would be finding so many fish. <sighs> rod tip down, maybe that's the key. Keep my rod tip down. Yes, oh. Why? I don't, I don't get it. Like, I'm not getting, it's, something's gotta be wrong with my chatterbait. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna switch to a different chatterbait because that's just dumb. That's just so dumb. That's that's like seven fish now that I've dumped. When I got what I felt was a good hook set. So dumb. All right. This chatterbait's gonna be retired. Good thing I've got plenty of green pumpkin chatterbaits. Not short on those. I mean, this hook feels a little bit sharper, of course, because it's brand new. But it's not like the last one wasn't sharp. Just something wasn't right about it. Man, this wind is pushing me all the way down the lake. Why? Kayak fishing, man. Gotta love it. Okay, boom. Like I've never had that many problems with losing fish on a cheddar bait.
We're just gonna take the trailer from the last one and thread it on here. My belly's making noises. I know you're hungry, buddy. I've been feeding you. Nah, this trailer's trashed. I gotta get a new one. And you know what, the water's clear enough. I probably don't have to dip the tail in chartreuse. Although, yeah, I'm still gonna do it. Just because I have confidence in doing that. I don't need to, but it's confident. Confident in, whatever, whatever the word is. I find confidence from it. Yeehaw. Ever since that day that I believed I am changed and I am stronger, it must have been something in the water. Singing me some Carrie Underwood. Right. Again, JJ's magic in methylate, which starts out pink, but it turns to orange very quickly. At least in my opinion. Right. Juicy juice right there, folks. But now we are thinking 100 yards from where we were, thanks to our glorious friend, the wind. Ugh, let's go back there. See how the hook hookup ratio of this one is. Cause look, I gave that guy the business. I got my rod tip down and he just spit it. It's dumb. Dummy dumb. In a bed? No. Oh gosh, there's one. Man, 
What the heck was that? I'm just reeling in. Well, hey, first fish on the new chatterbait, and it didn't spit it. So that's a success so far. I'd say that's a win. Maybe my chatterbait did have a soft hook on it. Beauty, thank you, sir. Gotta make sure my camera's not getting too wet. I should probably just roll a GoPro so I don't worry about it as much, but the Sony quality, y'all, is just really good. And y'all know that. Okay. These fish are just totally random. Besides the ones on the beds here and there, they're just totally not really predictable. Oh, I hate sitting down. I hate it. <laughs> it seems as if a lot of these fish I lost another one it's, it's nothing I'm doing I really think these fish are just really biting weird <sighs> I hate that sometimes you have those days and I, I mean, I also think that if I was to be standing up, I would have a lot better hook set. Because maybe with a chatterbait, an upward hook set is just not the smartest. That's totally possible. There's one. Gosh. Let's go a sideways hook set. Let me get the hook in them like that. Oh, gee. Give another hook set just like that. Get that hook in there. Get that hook in there. Get that hook in there and get them in a boat. Yes. All right, I think maybe it's the upward hook set with this chatterbait. I think chatterbaits are meant for a sideways hook set, as I talked about in my how to fish chatterbaits video. All right. There are multiple fish over there that are eating it on the stinking fall. That one did not, this cast did not result in the fish. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, man, there's so many fish in that area. It's crazy. It's crazy talk. I gotta get back there. The wind pushed me off. Prime position. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, I was trying to count down. Oh, if I had just kept reeling, I would have had a fish on three. We're gonna do it again. And three, two, one. Seems like a nice deep area right here, so I'm gonna fish my wacky worm around. Seems like a good area to fish. Just fish without looking. Oh, 
I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Is that a big one? No, nope, not a big one. But hey, it's a fish. And I knew that if I just fished around without looking, I'd get one. Same size as the rest of them. Gonna try to get better at, better at, gonna try to get better at landing fish from a kayak. There we go, got him. Little chunky dunky boy on the wacky rig. Hey, wacky rig's getting him in the top of the mouth. <laughs> Stinking chatterbait's not. Click, that's, we caught like 20, how many fish today? Yeah, 22 maybe. 22 fish, pretty good. I wanted to catch like several hundred. Cause guys out here were catching several hundred, but honestly, they are probably fishing like a beetle spin, you know? And that's why they caught several hundred, because they caught a tiny ones too. Maybe they were counting bluegill too or something. Because 230 does seem like a lot of fish in one day. I'm not saying it can't happen. And I'm not saying I'm not going to go on a tear and get to 100 today, but... That does seem a bit extreme. <laughs> to be all bass. Oh. Alright. Another cast. Another dollar. All right, Rocky Rig's too slow for me. I gotta go back to crank it and try to bait. Ooh, it looks juicy around here. <coughs> oh yeah, biggin. Nice. Oh no. It was lazy. Yeah. Scenery kind of changes back here. The scenery goes from flat, like, 
plains cow pasture land to uh, to forest, as you'll see here in a second. The camera's facing me, of course, so you see, well, you kind of see it. Banks get a little bit steeper. I don't see many beds, though. The beds are probably in that shallower stuff we just left. This looks like swim bait territory to me. The mag draft would be killing it right now. Three bites in a row. Little, little dinky bluegill, probably. There's one. Gosh, that's the biggest one of the day. That's the biggest one of the day. Hello, buddy. And see, I don't lose a big one. What's going on? I lose all these tiny ones, and the big one is doing all kinds of jumps, almost messing everything up, and I don't lose them. That's cool. Well, not yet. Oh, ho, ho. yes, sir. That right there is a three and a half pounder. That's a big old Texas bass. And that one finally got it down the gullet in the top of the roof of the mouth. Thank you, friend, for finally doing what uh, you were supposed to. That's a nice one. That's probably a nice big pre-spawn pre female. Got some more water on the lens. Get that bad boy off right there. All right, let's keep going. I gotta check my audio. Still going? I'm still going. Okay, it's time for a few more chips in my mouth. She, he was there. The casting back in there trick didn't work. It's not foolproof, but it works most of the time. at me. Man, the chatterbait's the way to go. It's easy money. Gosh. And even though I'm smoking them in a private lake, I mean, this time of year I'm never putting on a chatterbait anywhere. Bada bing, bada boom. Did I click the last big fish? See, I don't remember. I don't remember if I did. And because of all these times that I don't remember, I'm adding one at the end of the day. I don't remember. 
<laughs> Gosh, had another one. I had another one. There's more fish in that area. Wacky rig. I'll get him. I'll get you another chatterbait. You what? I can give you another chatterbait. Oh, okay. I got plenty. Spinner on. Huh? Got him. I watched him eat. Oh, he's not even a bass. He's a stinking bluegill. Look at the size of this bad boy. Man, he should count as a bass. I should be able to click him. <laughs> they go all readier, I think. I didn't look. I think he's readier. <laughs> oh, dang it. I'm stuck on the tip. There we go. Okay. Oh, is it? It is 12.37. Yes. This area of the lake looks way different. Yeah. Uh oh. Backlash crap is right. You got a fish? Yeah. Nice. I think it's small. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. You get a backlash and you're picking it out and you reel up and you have a fish. Yeah, this area of the lake really changed. Now it's like high, high banks, wood. Still some, still some bank grass covering the bank, but a lot less grass out in the water. This is more, you know, swim bait type waters. This reminds me of like some upper pockets of Smith Lake. There's one. Followed me in. Watched him eat. Bring it in, buddy. I'm gonna count that. He was here. That stinking counts. If, if I wasn't so wimpy about flipping these fish in the boat, I just don't want to get spined in the foot or something. That fish was literally like, he jumped up in the, I could have caught it with my hand. There we go. There's one. Bring him in. Bring him in. Yeah, yeah, I got a problem with landing fish. There we go. Boom! Shaka laka. Shaka laka ding dong. Thank you, sir.
Sitting down for you guys, so you can get better entertainment and not look at my crotch the whole time. But I want to stand up. I really want to stand up. Mama? Bigger? Huh? Is it bigger than your biggest? Oh, okay. Oh gosh dang it. Caught a tree. Of course I did. Looks kind of Betty right there. It's not. There's one. He's coming at me so fast. Holy cow. He's either big or he's tiny running, yeah, decent sized. He's just running so fast. Come on, come this way, boy. I was trying not to ram my rod tips into the bank over here. That's why I'm trying to grab my paddle. Fish stinking does that. You're, you're having a first, first class ticket to see how not to do things with GRF. Sheesh, man. Sheesh, man. This is not good. Gosh. I don't know where this wind direction came from. Wind was blowing the other direction. Dude, I've lost so many fish today. Do what? I've lost so many fish today. Oh yeah. I don't get it. I think I'm gonna catch one more good one and I'm probably gonna be done. I'm gonna have to head out. Alright. I got a stick. Do what? I got a stick. Big old stick. There should be a fish. Way back in that pocket over some trees. Come on. Come on. Be be good for daddy. Come on. Maybe not. Nope. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think it's actually shallower back there than I thought it was.
Which Bass Pro is Hayden working at? Uh, grapevine. Nice. Holy cow! Gosh! He was running at me so fast. That was crazy. Oh, that's what you gotta do to catch up to him. And yeah, once again, they're all not eating it down the gullet. Like this guy's only got it in the corner of his mouth. That's why I'm losing so many of these fish. I'll show you guys where they're where they're eating. They're eating right there in the corner. So it's not very easy to get them in if they jump once or twice. Man, that fish ran fast. You guys can see how fast I had to reel to catch up to him. Sometimes, man, with a chatterbait and a spinnerbait, they just charge it, and they keep charging. <laughs> All right, we're gonna work our way back out of here. Not really feeling the back of this pocket. Rods in the back for the catch. Oh, a little fish came off a of bed right there, but it was no no use fishing for him. He's tiny. There's one. There we go. See what I mean, folks? Look at that. The fish did an acrobatic jump. It hasn't come off because I set the hook standing up. That's exactly why. Standing up hook sets are way better than sitting down hook sets. I'll take a fish though, no matter if he comes standing up or sitting down. I just know that standing up is better. Sheesh. Sheesh. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Had a bite. Oh, sorry. Do 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 do. You caught any bluegill? I caught like three. Oh, really? I caught I caught really three. Mm -hmm. I got the fish that was on your stick. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Thank you buddy. Bring it in here. Ah! Stop it! <clears throat> Man, he's hooked good. That one was not coming off. Unlike his predecessors, who all seem to come off. The drop of a pin. Gosh, we're good. Can't do that. Can't do that, kids. Watch out. Uh-oh. 
Well, hey, you're learning how to take them out. Because there's also a skill in that to do it quickly. And guess who's made a video about that? Yeah. I have. Huh? Yeah, I watched it. Good. This is the place in the lake to throw a frog. Yeah. Because the, the banks are steeper. So the fish are going to be more pressed up against the bank at some point. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. And I need you. See one? Ah. Yeah. Gosh, bug got my nose. Oh, you got something good. No, something bad. Bug in my nose. Had him. Oh. oh, I had him, aha! Yeah! Yeah, cast it back into that stick. Bring it in here. Bring it in here, you goof. You goofball. Get in the boat. Yes. Thank you, sir. Little dinker. Fish 137. I love it. I love it a lot. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs>
Well, I was hoping there'd be more big ones for you. There are lots of fish, but they're just not giant yet. But with the proper management, give this lake like four years, it could be really good. Come on, come on, come on. No, uh oh, uh oh. No! Dang it. Ah! Oh! My line got stuck on my the spinning rod that was hanging off my my kayak. I was so dumb. The fish just would not come away from my rod tip, and it got stuck. I tried. I tried to not let it, but it did. Dang it. Now it's all kinds of tangled. It's not just like twisted, it's like that, that really difficult twist. It like ties a knot in itself. <clears throat> I hate this. This is just a stinking retie situation. I will retie a wacky rig when I feel like it. Gosh dang it. So dumb. Sick of losing fish, y'all. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. They're in the chatter, but anyways, I can just put this away. I don't need that anymore. I don't need you anymore. I feel like that's from a movie. Some little kid yelling, I don't need you anymore. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Check, check. Still going. Yeah, if they start taking some smaller fish out, this could be a trophy fishery. Yeah. That one's nicer. Got him. Water ski. <laughs> Yay! Oh, come on, get in here. Maybe it wasn't nicer. They're just big splashers. And see, that's how you want them to eat it right there. That's how you know they're not gonna get off and they actually eat it down their gullet. But the rest of these fish are being wimps. And they're not doing that. You got stuck? Uh-oh.
Get him! Yes, J Mart's got a big one. Nice. Get you one, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Chill. What? Oh, yeah. I thought he hooked you, you wimp. You gotta go to a wedding. Yes, it is. You gotta go listen to the same pastor talk about Ephesians 5 and how marriage is a reflection of Christ in the church. And then they kiss. Huh? What? Oh, no, me too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not smacking that. I just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, J Mart. Grande. Not really. They're just hard fighters, man. They're just hard fighters. Hey! Chunky Dunker. Hundred and thirty-nine fish so far today. That's not today, but I'm uh I'm assuming you're staying out here. Yeah. You don't go eat. What do you mean? Like, do you leave to go eat? No. No, not usually. I usually bring lunch with me, but like I, I ran out of lunch meat at, 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 Ray, at Rayburn, so I didn't bring a sandwich. But I would love to grab lunch with you, but I still gotta keep filming. That's cool. I get it. I get it. You, gotta, you gotta do your job. But I miss you, man. Dude, thanks for bringing me out here. This was fun. This has been awesome. Good. Uh, have, have a safe drive back to Waco. You drive to College Station safe. <laughs> and tell Sherry I say hello. Um, the gate code is 2010, right? No, 02, wait, 0201. 0201. Did you, did you lock both locks or just one? Just the top one. Okay, the bottom one is unlocked and it, it says, it says 0201 on it, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, catch you later, man. Adios, brother. Yep, I'll see ya. Let me know if you catch anything ridiculously big. Yeah, I did see a five or six pounder on a bed that she wouldn't stay. So I might catch her on the way back. I'll see ya. All right, our friend Jonathan is out. I'm gonna keep going down this little pocket back here. As y'all can see, I mean, the difference between where we started fishing and what this is is drastic. Like, this feels like, you know, Alabama. The other one feels like a Texas pond. Definitely different. Still beautiful, but I mean, yeah, this is actually way more beautiful than the other one is. The other one's flatlands and this is uplands. They just fight so hard for their size. Like, I rarely have two pounders like, run at me like these fish have. Do I have one? I have a fish, of course I do. Good grief. <laughs> I'm pulling the whole time thinking I had my chatterbait rigged wrong. But no, it was just a bass. It's almost every cast at this point. As long as I make a accurate, efficient cast, I catch one every time. And I'm gonna work up the right bank. Oh gosh, that one followed me the whole way. Let's drop it down, see if he eats it. These fish are just crazy aggressive, man. Try to get his attention. Wow. I've gotta start uh, pausing my chatterbait right before I uh, make the final, you know, 20 reels to get it back to the boat. I gotta start pausing it because it seems like these fish are in the mood to chase. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got stuck. I got stuck, everybody. Who could have guessed? Me. I could have guessed. 
big old log jam here, boys. I need a new trailer. This one is worn out and it lost both of its claws. I gotta just keep this bag out. We got one left anyways after this. I'm rigging the trailer sideways. So it looks more like a bluegill. Like that instead of like that. I talk about that as well in my video on trailers. But it do 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 I had a fish right there. He got I could probably catch him on a popper out here. Probably most definitely. Oh, dang it, that stick is way longer than I thought it was. That stick is way longer than I thought. There we go. All right, I'm not gonna go any, any farther back than this. Turn back around.
fish. Jeez. That guy came out of nowhere. Holy cow. Gosh, they fight so hard in here. It's crazy. Bring it in here, you big boy. Big boy and big girl. Whatever you are. I bet you're a big boy. Bring it in. Yes. That's not a bad one. That's a two and a half pounder. Just came off of some suspended tree. Eat the chatterbait. Alright. Gotta get us out of here. There's one. Bring it in. Chill, chill, buddy. Chill, homie. I didn't click the last three fish, I don't think. At least the last two. At least the last two. Forgot to click. That don't count. Thank you. Gosh. Let's jump again. Man. These fish are nuts. Kamikazes.
there's one. Man, dude, these fish are just wild. I can't get the hook into them. Frustrating. It's, it's the upward hook set. I've basically discovered that it's the upward hook set. Not basically, I have I have for sure discovered. I don't know what I used the word basically for. Uh, it's gotta be, because I never lose this many fish on a chatterbait when I'm in my bass boat. So if you're fishing a chatterbait, do not set the hook up. FYI, that idea. It's not the way to catch mo fish. Gosh, man. I stinking hate I I hate sitting down. This stinks. I just know that if I stand up, you guys will have a horrible angle. So, I'm gonna try to improve my hook set from the kayak, for y'all's sake. Ugh, I stinking hate this. I shouldn't be missing these fish. Gosh, come on. I mean, I know it's probably small fish, but I don't usually lose this many fish on a shadow bait. It's frustrating. There's one. Finally. See? I, thank you. I counts. He was in. <laughs> I didn't touch with my hands, but he got my feet. See, I don't want to. I don't want to get spined. That's why I'm hesitant to just flip a fish in. I guess I, I should. I should have bought a net. That's what I should have done. I could have landed three quarters of these fish that jumped by the boat with a net. It only took me like two and a half hours to think about that. Gosh. Bring it in. <laughs> I'll start being a bit more aggressive with the flips. Because I want to catch 50 fish today. Maybe more. But I feel like by the time I get back to the ramp, we'll be right around 50 fish, is my guess. And I gotta head back and see my wife, because I haven't seen her in a week. Was off doing freelance video and now I'm filming for you guys. Being a YouTuber is fun, not gonna lie. It's the best job ever, but it does require me to be away from my wife sometimes, which stinks. Because I gotta go places to make different videos or else all my videos would look the same. You gotta travel to cool places to film. I refuse to be a, you know, one pond angler. I see a lot of YouTubers out there that fish the same five or six ponds all the time. That's great. Go them. They're having fun. Like if I was to come here every week, it would lose its it would lose its fun. I'm still having fun right now. Maybe if I fish 200 or something, I wouldn't have fun. I don't know. I think I would. I love catching fish. It's my favorite. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Got him next to a stick. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Got him. I bellied that boy. Yeah, again. 
y'all can see this, right in the corner of his mouth. It's not what you want. Very easy spot for those fish. Yeah, like it, just, it popped right out. <laughs> this is crazy, these fish are not eating it well. Which, which sometimes implies that I'm not throwing the right color, but I'm getting way more bites than my buddy Jonathan did. He was throwing a white uh, chatterbait, so. I know I'm throwing a, a color that works. Ooh, that's a bigger one. That's for sure a bigger one. That's a three pounder. Oh my gosh. Sorry folks, you got it wet there. Gee, burrs, creepers, nope. Oh, Josh, what a jump, man. I hope I got that on camera. Gee, oh, that was insane. Holy cow. Let me wipe off that lens for you guys. My gosh. I'm gonna take off my glasses to see the lens. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch that clip before I keep fishing. Look at that fish right there. That's a chunk. It's over three. Again, was barely hooked. Gee. And I think that I misclicked those last two. I don't know. I'm gonna put myself one ahead for that one that I was gonna. I was gonna add at the end. It's so hard to remember if I've clicked things. All right, I'm gonna watch that clip real quick. I want to see what that jump looks like. All right, well, sadly my camera is not wide angle enough to get that jump, but he jumped like five feet through the, like, like jumped out of the water and went like five feet. That was crazy. That was crazy tough. Ugh. Man, if I was throwing like a micro chatterbait today, like a little chatterbait for crappie, oh, I'd be slaying, slaying every size. And they probably wouldn't be throwing it. I could probably throw a bigger size crappie. I mean, bigger, bigger, a smaller size chatterbait. But where's the fun in that, eh? There's no fun in that. <clears throat> I know you are, but I'm not. Mm -mm. Da -da -da -do 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 -do. That can't be a bass. That's a stick, yeah. <laughs> Got me excited there. That's a stick. Big old fashioned stick. I thought I had a grande. That felt like a fish to me.
I knew there was a fish there. I saw a white spot. So I flipped to it with the old cheddar weight. Old cheddar weight, cheddar bait. Right. Little guy. So fat, so fat, man. This guy's future genetics are fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah, they're gonna have some big fish in here in the next five years. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of hurt my side on that one. Set the hook weird. Should catch one here. Should at least. Oh no. Odd. Ah, the last one hurt my side. <laughs> ah, that was one. Oh gosh. We good? Okay.
There's one. Nice one. Nice one, yeah. He's a jumper, and he's gonna jump right in my boat. Yes. Chill, 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 chill. Hey, hey. I'll let you go, I'll let you go, I'll let you go. You flopped. Kick in. I'll do it, and I did it. Uh, 150. Eight more fish, and we're at 50 fish today. These are the kind of days you need to get to 1,000 to offset the days that I catch two. Because there will be plenty of those, trust me. Especially come fall and early winter. Hope to be at 1,000 by then, man. Back to the wind. We had a good stretch there without wind for a few hours, or for a, an hour or so. I have no, I have no clue how long this video is going to be. This video could be really long. Gosh! Holy cow! This fish came out of nowhere. Wow! Wow! That's a nice one. That's a nice one. See, I'm. Should I be fighting them longer before I try to like grab my rod with my hand? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I don't do this in a bass boat, so. I don't feel too bad. Like, I know what I'm doing, I just don't know what I'm doing in a kayak. <laughs> not afraid to admit that. I'm not very good at landing fish in a kayak. Especially jumpers like that. Oh, smallmouth in a kayak? Oof, that'd be hard. Need to catch eight more fish. That's what I need. Eight moss. Eight moss pescados.
there's one. Gosh. That fish bigger or smaller than usual? I can't tell. He's fighting really hard, like he's big. I'm gonna keep him down this time. I'm gonna try to play him more instead of grab my rod right away. He's not even that big. Not even that big. I think, I think he's ready right now. And that's where I lose him usually. That's usually where I lose him. This guy is hooked a little bit better. Boom. Every time though, corner of the mouth pops right out. Something a little slower, maybe like a soft plastic swim bait would make these fish, uh, and the flashy swimmer would make the hookup ratio a little better. And so, if I was a smart guy, I would switch to that. But this is getting me crazy amounts of bites, so I don't really feel like switching. It's getting sunny. So I keep checking lighting so much, I just don't have many things in auto. I really ought to get a monitor for when I kayak fish. Or just get a cheaper Sony with a flip out screen. I got like a point and shoot. I can do that. Gee, Wendy. Strong window all of a sudden. Jeez.
just realized I probably got my mouth gaping wide open for most of this video. Uh, nice resting gape face. Had one. I have a fish. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. He's got to be small. He is. Oh, he's not even a bass. He's like a cichlid or something. What is that? Not a, not a bass, that's for sure. Not a regular bluegill. Some kind of different thing. I see some bass beds. Sorry, I'm standing up, y'all. I see some bass beds right here, and I see one that I can for sure catch. But the fish is just dumb as a rock. Well, he didn't eat. I don't really feel like bed fishing for a one pounder. one. Get in here, buddy. Get in here, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Little buddy. Thank you for letting me click you. Five more fish in order to 50, and I can quit. I want to go home and see my wife, but I really want to catch 50 fish. If you're somehow watching at this point, comment below how many fish is the most fish you've ever caught in a day. Mine's 117, I think it was. Now, it wasn't solo. I was fishing with somebody, so I guess you can split that in half, and I caught whatever, 65. And I bet you, if I, like I said, put on a little beetle spin, <laughs> something smaller, and uh, maybe 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 just a wacky rig all day and just slowed around these banks, I could possibly catch that many fish. It's definitely possible. On a lake like this, but the 117 fish day was on a public lake. That was on Lake Travis in. Uh, was that like the fall? Yeah, it was the fall. Yeah, it was right when the fish were moved up from the fall. It's like October, something like that. Absolutely put the hammer down on them. That was fun. With my boy Richie, I think I have a video of it on the channel. If I do, I'll leave it linked below. Again, if I can remember all these things. I knew I had one. Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. Yeah. Woo. yeah. What a sneeze, eh? It's getting humid out here. Real humid. Muggy. Muggy is a muggle, as my Hogwarts friends say. Oh, there's one. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. That one's fighting much harder. Yep, that is bigger. 
That is bigger. That's the biggest of the day. Well, maybe not the biggest of the day, but it's a nice one. Oh, gosh. It's okay. I'm going to keep fighting him. Keep fighting him. He's got a corner of the mouth, though. I'm worried. I'm worried he's going to jump. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip him in if I get the chance. I can grab his mouth. Let's go. Ha ha. Another three pounder. Chunky fish. Oh, Chatterbait. Look at that. It just fell out. Crazy. If, if this was happening to me at a public lake, like a tournament situation, and I was having fish jump off my chatterbait, I wouldn't be throwing it still. This is just because there's so many dang f fish here <laughs> that I'm still throwing it. I think I clicked one too many times. I'm at 155. I think I clicked one too many times, but we'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. I caught a lot of fish today. All right, speaking of a lot of fish, I'm gonna go back to that other side. Not a lot of fish. There's a big fish over there that I saw. I'm gonna look for it. All right, well, big female that I saw on the bed is not there any longer. She didn't stay for long at all. Honestly, she might not even been on the bed. She might have just been kind of cruising around with that male. I think they'd be on the bed together, but possible she not. Gosh, there's one, there's one. Absolutely stopped it. That's her. That's her. It's gotta be. Wow. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's a nice one. That's the biggest one of the day. That's totally, that totally could be her. In the same area. Oh, no, 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 no. Gosh. Gosh. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Yes. Haha. <laughs> that. I, I think that is her. That's a chunk right there. That's a chunky chunk. Every time I flip a fish in the boat, I get water on the lens. I gotta fix that somehow. Move the camera back a little bit. Look at that. Finally, a fish that ate it. Well, a big one and didn't shake me off. Heck yeah. This has been a lot of fun. I've loved every single minute of this. All right. Three more fish and I'm at 50. At least 50. Or two more fish, I don't know. By the clicker, it's two more fish. I might go, yeah, I'm just gonna go however many. You know, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep catching fish till I get back. And the wind is gonna catch, pick up here in a second. I know that couldn't have been that fish. Fish that I saw was bigger, like five or six. I should have just caught with three and a half. Gosh, dang it. 
Got a fish following me in all the way. Wow, hello. Hello, wind. How are you? Sheesh. For the sake of the wind, I'm gonna go across to the other side. Actually, well, now I like this feeder over here. I lost two big ones on it earlier. I'm gonna keep fighting it. Got him. There he is. Yes, sir. Water ski him across the top. And bring him in. Come on, shake off. Shake off yourself. Or not. Ah. There we go, perfect. He counts. I could have grabbed him. Man, it's windy. And this is like the wrong wind for this lake. Wind is going from the south and the the lake runs north to south. one. Gosh dang it. Ah, lost him. Oh no I didn't. Oh it's a bluegill. That doesn't count. Get off of there. Come on. Alright, we're going across. It's too windy here. Playing water on my camera. Yo.
I think a storm's coming in, man. That's what it feels like. The, the air is getting like heavy. Heavy and thick. Thick with two C's and a Q. Wind's blowing in. Yeah, we got a storm coming. A warm front, a warm front storm. So I gotta get out of here soon. Come on, how many more fish do I need? I need one more fish to get to 50 fish today. And I don't know how many of those I got on camera. I definitely got five or six off camera. And as y'all have seen, I lost 20 plus fish today. Frustrating. Shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be losing fish. That's dumb. Making our way back here to the main point on the entire lake. There's gotta be a fish sitting on it. It's the main point. Trailer's trash, so we'll just take off the trailer and catch our last bass on a dry chatterbait. No trailer on it, just the skirt. Winds blow me in this bank. Oh, good grief. This wind stinks. I may not be catching one more. Well, I don't really want to rig up a trailer. Cause I'm lazy. I'm a lazy bum. Gosh, there's one right there. I'll put a new trailer on there. I just won't dip it. I won't dip and dye it. All right, I'm catching one on this cast, right here. Take off our sunglasses and we're gonna call it a day at 50 fish on this cast. Right here, come on. Come on. No? Cool. That's cool too. How about a different angle? <laughs> That's gotta be a fish. Come on, I'm taking my sunglasses off. So I can talk to you fans. I've caught 49 of you. One more shouldn't be that hard.
had one. I had him, I had him, I had him. All right, well, this will be my last cast regardless. I'll catch one off camera. I just got to be done filming. I got to head home. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was, uh, I have no clue how long this video is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to edit any of it down. Probably not. So what is that, three, four hours? Long time of you guys fishing with me. I don't think I picked my nose at all. So that's good. But uh, if you enjoy, hit the subscribe button. If you're new here and you want uh, more kind of content like this, let me know and I'll make sure to just, just go fishing. Maybe I'll do some fly fishing and just make it relaxing. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an energetic guy, but if you guys want some ASMR type stuff where I just kind of go fishing and, and film the whole thing and no cuts, let me know. But I'm always here to make you guys better bass anglers. My name's Tyler and we'll see you next time.